If you are watching this video, you are most likely wondering whether a menstrual cup is better option than a tampon or a sanitary pad. So today, I address this question along with facts about the cup, how to insert it, how to remove it and bust some myths about it. So this is a menstrual cup. It is a flexible cup and comes in three sizes, small, medium and large. It is made up of silicone and some are made up of latex. It can hold up to 30 ml of blood, which is twice that of a super absorbent tampon or a pad. And this can be used up to 10 years. Over 43 studies have shown strong evidence that these cups are absolutely safe, making them the best eco-friendly and wallet-friendly period products in the market. The small size is for slim-built women and is the most appropriate for teenage girls. Its capacity is around 18 ml. Medium size is for medium-built women and women who haven't given vaginal birth yet. Its capacity is 20 ml. And the large size is for tall-built women and who have given vaginal birth. Its capacity is 30 ml. While there are many techniques for inserting the cup, I will discuss three easiest folds suitable for all age groups. The punch down fold, here you push the top towards the inside as much as possible, fold it and then insert it. This makes the area of insertion small and comfortable. Once inside, you can Press on this point to form the seal. Next we come on to the C fold. First squeeze the cup and then fold it into a C shape as you can see here. This is a common fold for women who have been using it for a considerable time or have given vaginal birth. The best part about this fold is that it unfolds very easily once inside the vagina. This technique may not be suitable for new users. The 7th fold. Squeeze the cup and fold one corner to the opposite side or all the way down. This makes the point of insertion very narrow and is ideal for first time users. After inserting, the cup will automatically unfold but if it does not, then you need to hold the stem and rotate it from side to side and try pulling down a bit, adjusting as per your comfort. Once inserted, the cup forms an airtight seal which prevents any leakage. The cup needs to be emptied every 10 to 12 hours and you can comfortably sleep, exercise, swim and go about your regular activities without the stress of spillage. However, before you go for a swim, you should empty the cup for maximum protection against leaks. Removal of the cup initially can be a bit messy. So, it's best to try a few steps such as sitting comfortably or squatting over the commode. Take a deep breath and relax your pelvic muscles. Grab the stem and pull the cup slightly down. Then, pinch the base to break the seal. Take it off slowly and drain the content and wash it with soap and water. Then, dry it with a toilet paper. After washing, make sure that the small holes on the top remain free because while inserting, the air escapes through these holes and maintains air tightness. So, it is important to prevent leakage. After your periods get over, boil the cup in water for about 10 minutes. This will prevent any bacterial contamination that can lead to infection. There are many questions I come across regarding the cup. Like, 
it cannot be used if you have an iud such as copper tea or mirena insert you can use menstrual cups even if you have an iud however while removing the cup the iud has been displaced uh, in a few women this is a very rare case and as a solution you can contact your gynecologist who will cut the thread of the iud short and prevent such an incident another myth is that it cannot be used by virgins the answer is it can be the small size cup is made for young teenage girls and there is a little chance of the hymen getting torn which is also true in case of strenuous exercises or even tampon and not just during intercourse still if your number one priority is to maintain the health of your hymen you can choose not to use it another myth is that it is not safer than a tampon the fact is that it is absolutely 100% safe the tampon not only absorbs vaginal secretions but also damages the inner lining of the vagina due to friction and very rarely it causes a complication due to infection known as toxic shock syndrome this is not a concern when it comes to menstrual cups timely emptying and maintaining proper hygiene of the cup literally reduces the risk of tss to zero